So we're getting prepared to go on another shark fishing trip, land-based. And Andrew came over. Say hi, you ugly sack of crap. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, he brought some other materials over. We got cable. We got mono. We got crimps. We got slide. I forget what the heck these are even called. Anyways, you get it. We also have ginormous swivels for whatever ungodly reason. <laughs> we got some 20 aught hooks and they're barbed, so we gotta cut those out. And some crimps for the cable. And your hooks are supposed to be non stainless steel. That way, if you have to cut them off, then they'll be able to rust away and it won't stay in the shark's mouth forever. Anyways, I figured I might as well make a video and uh, show you guys how we make them and get you one made up. We got four, we got one or two to go. So you can use however much you want. It's really up to you. Um, you can really use whatever size you want as well. But we've got mono that is capable of pulling vehicles down the road. This is uh, what, 900 pound or 800 pound? 800. So he's got 800 pound mono. Um, I use, I think, five or 600 pound, and I've only got a 50 wide, so it's still probably overkill, but better safe than sorry. So we'll typically use about 10 to 20 foot of the leader itself. You wanna use something that's big and uh, apparently gigantic in diameter, and the reason for that is not only the tensile strength from tail whips and you know those gigantor 20 foot megalodons you want to catch out there but also for your hands um, it's good to grab the leader and not the line or the cable that way you ain't jacking your hands up while you're out there you get cut because they don't feel that great and uh well just being smart and being somewhat safe you want to try to keep your uh, cables, bread ties, whatever you want to call them, on the line. You can slide them up and keep them both centered like that. It makes it easy. And then you can just kind of like roll it out. That way you don't get all your mono in a big mess. So I'm going to get out 20 foot of this. I'll be back in a second. All right, I got 20 foot out. Now typically you want to kind of cut it at an angle. That way it goes into your crimps a little easier. Cable, this is what, 900 pound? Yeah. So this is 900 pound cable. Again, you can get whatever you prefer. Um, anywhere from like four to 900 pound. It's mainly just to keep it from breaking off. You don't even have to go that high. Just like I said, just personal preference really. And depends on the size shark you're going after. The Technically legal uh, minimum is 80 pound test mono or braid. Um, if you take your here in Florida um, permit or quiz to get your fishing permit for shark, then you would know all this. We are using 900 pound weed whacker cable. That's what it feels like anyways. This is coated. I think it's got a Teflon coating or something on it or nylon. Um, again, personal preference on length. We'll use anywhere from four to six foot. And really, your cable itself doesn't have to be that long. It could be like two foot or a foot even. Main thing is your leader material. Um, you want it to be at least the length and maybe a foot or two more than the size of the shark that you plan on catching. That way it doesn't tail whip your mono on your uh, top shot or your leader material or your braid if you decide to go straight braid for whatever reason we'll get four or five foot of this and this has got we'll have enough for two more on this one this one will be a hair a bit shorter but again cut it at a slight angle this one will be about three four foot that's plenty you made the one for 50. yeah but we're going to start with the leader material um with this is 800 pound mono 
Um, you're going to need three and a half mil crimps, and I'll use two of them. And then I'll put my snap swivel on first because I'll tend to forget this thing. And again, this is rated for whatever weight that you're wanting to use. You don't need this to be super heavy. The main thing is you want it to be able to fit the leader material that you're using. You want to put it on the leader material. That way it's got a little bit of play. Um, it's kind of like a Carolina rig in a manner, but this is for your weight, which we use Sputniks or homemade Sputniks. We'll take a aluminum wire and we'll fix them up on a weight, make a, another snap swivel on it or just a swivel in general. We'll hook them to this, we'll curl the ends up and they stick to the sand. You can use like four or six ounce, whatever you want to use. It's better than tying on a brick and throwing it out there with two pound test on it. Anyways, we'll put the snap swivel on and then we'll throw our crimps on. Slide on two of them. Then you're gonna use your swivel. These, you'd probably want them, you know, maybe a hundred pounds more than what you're trying to use because there's something about it to me that I just don't trust using super small ones, but if they're rated, they're rated. If it breaks off, then give up forever. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, if it breaks, it's not meant to be. <laughs> if, it, if it breaks, it ain't meant to be. Anyways, so you got your snap swivel, your two crimps, and your swivel itself. I'll fold over probably four to six inches throw it in there, get the first one started, try to make these uniform on both ends, but slide it up. A lot of people like to loop them or put uh, thimbles in them, something like this here, but this stuff is huge, so there's no need for it. Then you're gonna crimp it on, give yourself a good loop, something not huge, but not to where it's got too much room to get tied up in itself. And we're gonna crimp that down. These are not the correct crimpers for these, but we know what we're doing with them. But you'll wanna crimp, if you're using something simple like this, then you wanna crimp a little bit away from the edge, that way it doesn't pinch into the mono. One on each side and then one in the center. Then you got your nice little distance here. Take and you can twist it. I doubt it does anything assistance wise, but I like to think that it does. And it also helps if one crimp fails, the other one should catch. Now, without throwing the snap swivel away and letting it fall off the other end of the open line, we're gonna do the same thing to this end. So two crimps and another swivel. Same thing, try to make it uniform. So after you got your leader done, you're going to take your cable, you're going to get your crimps that are rated for your cable, which this is 900 pound and it's got a coating on it, so we have to use the 2.9 mil crimp. Again, slide two of them on, then you're going to run it through the other end of your swivel. You're going to do the same thing, loop it, make it uniform. Whenever you're doing these, you want to make or make sure that you leave a little bit of that out. You don't want to do it to where it's on the inside. And you don't want to do it too long. I mean, you could do it long, but it's unnecessary and it's a ginormous tag in. Whenever you're doing these, you want to make or make sure that you leave a little bit of that out. You don't want to do it to where it's on the inside. And you don't want to do it too long. I mean, you could do it long, but it's unnecessary and just a ginormous tag in. Makes it look ugly. On the other side, same thing again. Two crimps, but now you're going to want to throw your hook on. This is a 20 aught circle hook. This has a barbed end on it. We're going to shave these barbs off. Um, it's supposed to be barbless anyways, but it also makes for easy de-hooking. Slide it on, and for the last time, same thing. Make it uniform. Make sure your loop ain't too big. Crimp her down. Now, you have your rig. The only thing you're gonna need is your Sputnik. 
and you're going to need a big reel with plenty of line capacity and usually at least 80 pound braid and you typically want to use a top shot um, i use 150 pound or 130 pound and um when i use 150 pound i use 130 uh, 150 pound mono and i use hollow core braid so i'll splice the mono into the braid i'll typically have like 50 foot of top shot um i'll use 150 pound mono because i use 150 pound hollow core braid i'll have like anywhere from two to six foot spliced into the hollow core and then at the other end i'll do the same thing i did here i'll splice into the other end of that swivel or crimp into it and uh that's it all you need now is your sputnik weight and some good bait whenever you hook your baits say that my hand is a piece of ray for hammerhead or whatever you want to use for tiger you want maybe like that much into the bait i don't have to hold it and you can take you some rubber bands or zip ties even and then you'd want to you know either zip tie it here and here or you take you some rubber bands and wrap it around here wrap around the back side of it you want that hook exposed as much as possible those sharks ain't going to give a crap they're more interested in the bait that you got out there but and at the end last but not least Good to have bread sack ties or zip ties zip things up so they don't get all tangled up on you and you can take them out to the beach and be prepared organized and cleaned up and ready and that's it if y'all remember me talking about it in the last video this was the reason why i hadn't had any videos made is because i was building a pc and came out pretty daggum nice if i have to say so myself and this is all set up and I got all my videos here ready to go. Well, that ain't all of them. I got like 40 files. He couldn't even find his stuff earlier. <laughs> but that's going to wrap it up for us for today. And hopefully the next video that gets uploaded will be us using these rigs out on the beach. And now that you have the info to make some yourself, or now that you have made some yourself, you got to do the same. Get out there and go catch them because you ain't going to catch them on the couch. I'm Drew. That's the other Drew. Technically both Andrew, but I'm a habitual angler. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. We need to get this channel growing and going again. So thank you all for watching. See y'all next time. Afternoon trip to the beach. Time for work. We're already hooked up. Has he woke up yet? What's that? Has he woke up yet? Nope. No. no. He's dying out. <laughs> Probably a sandbar. There he is. If he pulls drag, if he pulls drag, let him run. That's way out there. You, can, here, here you go. My arm ain't tired, but I'm just looking like damn. He ain't seen the tail or nothing yet. You didn't crank. He didn't crank. Now I'm cranking. He ain't. Even no, you won't see him until he gets close. Plus, he pulled off 200 more yards. The reel is basically full. That's a bull, dude. That is a big bull. Good size. Yeah. I think this one's pregnant, honestly. It is. Good job. There you go. Thank you. Yep.